before we get into the video today, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, Gnostic TV. Gnostic TV is ancient wisdom reimagined. This is a Netflix for those who are spiritually curious and want a place to go where there is no censorship. I personally am doing a whole series on Gnostic TV called The Esoteric Explorer, where I am providing exclusive content to Gnostic. Gnostic TV is a host to all sorts of different content creators, many of whom are your old favorites. If you would like to check out Gnostic TV, there is a link down in the description box below. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, and I hope you're gearing up for a really great new year. I cannot believe we're coming up on 2024. This is wild, you guys. I cannot believe it's already 20. We're already so far into the 21st century. I, I was watching these TikToks where these kids were talking about the 1900s. <laughs> You know, like when most of us were born and, and living the 1900s, and I thought, wow, we are that far into the 21st century that the night, the night that the 20th century, the 1990s, the 1980s, the 1970s, these are now considered the 1900s. So we are officially really old. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. I know that this week, the week between Christmas and New Year, it, for everybody is like a very delirious, sugar filled week where people some people are off of work some people have very light work hours nobody really knows what the day is people are just kind of walking around confused some people are already putting their christmas decorations up preparing for january and so i wanted to just kind of hop on here and touch base with you guys about the schedule that's coming up this week because of the holidays it's going to be a very light schedule um, because christmas and new year fe fell on a monday this year there's not going to be any monday mystery obviously there was no monday mystery yesterday for christmas and there's not going to be one for New Year Day as well, because I know that that is a holiday for many people. And so we will resume with our Mystery Mondays, our Monday Mysteries on um, Monday, January the 8th. Um, and I've already actually filmed that Mystery Monday. Some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not know. Um, I usually research stories and try to fil film them well in advance because it does take a very long time to produce a video. And so I am taking advantage of this time, this this downtime to try to really get ahead of some of these stories for the new year. So I'm super organized and super prepared to present these stories. With that being said, I will not be on Aquarius Rising Africa this upcoming Monday. Obviously, I wasn't there yesterday because it was Christmas. And this upcoming Monday being New Year, I won't be on the show because it is a holiday. I believe tomorrow, Wednesday, the 27th of December, I will be on, I believe, at this point, I will be on with Shanti for solutions with Aquarius Rising Africa. Of course, that might be subject to change depending on if something comes up in my schedule or something comes up in her schedule. Again, this is a very strange week. With the holidays, so if that are, if that is going to change, if I'm not going to be on the show tomorrow, I will let you guys know in the community board if that has to be re re rescheduled for next week. I also believe I'm going to be on Catherine Edwards' channel this Thursday, the 28th, for our regular Thursday coffee chats. Once again, um, if that changes for whatever reason because of Catherine's holiday schedule or my holiday schedule, I will let you know beforehand next week uh the second january 2nd onward hopefully i'll have more shows available for you guys before we get back into the swing of things with our deep dives i've got a couple of um discussions over some things that i've put out to certain people so that we can do like a round table talking about certain things that have come up in our world very fascinating topics um, some topics I've already covered on this channel, but I thought it would be interesting to hear other people's perspectives as well. So that's in the works too. Also, please remember that there is a discount code for you guys until January 2nd. 
for until Tuesday, January 2nd for Gnostic TV. The link to Gnostic TV is down in the description box below. When you go to checkout, if you type in the word Shala, S-H-A-L-A at checkout, you will get a huge discount on Gnostic TV. You will literally get Gnostic TV 12 months of unlimited Gnostic TV for only $50. That's such a good a good deal. So that is down in the description box below. With Gnostic TV, you guys know that I have a whole section called the Esoteric Explorer where I do um, exclusive deep dives where I'm not censored, exclusive deep dives under the Esoteric Explorer series over on Gnostic. And we've just started a new health and wellness series, an esoteric health and wellness series over on Gnostic where we're going to be going over the foundations of spirituality. There's so much hoopla out there some wackety do stuff out there um you know as you guys have heard i feel like i'm beating a dead horse when i say this but i just it needs to be repeated one of the scariest things that i have seen in this great awakening is the um, controlled opposition coming into our community and doing everything they can to put us back to sleep and a lot of that comes with spirituality we see so many people leading people down the wrong path of spirituality and so i spoke with jay and we decided to create a series where we're going to go over the foundations of spirituality just to give people more information so that they're able to have more autonomy and they're not confusing their intuition with their imagination or their intuition with magical thinking because imagination and magical thinking that's all coming from the false sense of self and so many spiritualists in this movement i watch their videos and i'm horrified at what they're teaching people and it's very obvious that they have no education in this whatsoever and that's so important especially in spirituality that there is a basis of, of education because the foundation of spirituality is you are dealing with the friction of being in a mortal body with an immortal soul and so a lot of the things that people perceive as spirituality is literally your ego is literally your imagination and that's going to lead you down a path of derangement and so it's so important that we really get a grip on that and for those who don't know, this is what I do outside of YouTube. This is my job. Um, I'm the only female in the state of Georgia to be authorized by KPJAYI over in India. I've been studying Eastern philosophy and studying spirituality for going on 18 years now. And so with my level of education, I do. I'm glad I can give it back and, and it, for a very low price on Gnostic, give it back to you guys. So you guys can take that information and really start to work on yourselves and really start to work on your own clarity of mind when we move into this new timeline. Because again, there are opposing forces that are going to try to manipulate that. With that being said, of course, if you guys have been on this channel for a long time, you know that exercise is the base root of the foundation of spirituality. That's why exercise is the root word of exorcism. It's getting away. When you exercise the physical body, you sweat out the toxins, you're moving through your attachment to thought, the negotiations of the mind, the yoga, Chitavriti Narodaha, all that kind of stuff. And so with this health and wellness series, we I, I've put um, I've got two exercise videos up so far. One is like a beginner's movement video and one is a 60 minute all levels movement video. Now I want to be very clear with this with these videos, I'm calling a lot of them movement therapy because I do not want to call them yoga. We are, we are I am planning on doing a quarter primary series from the Ashtanga system and a half primary series from the Ashtanga system on Gnostic TV with um, some of my students and some of my colleagues so that I can teach while they're practicing. I want to make that very clear again. Vinyasa flow, these like more contemporary yogas aren't really yoga. Like that's not really, and that's another manipulation of spirituality. And so I want to keep this very authentic on Gnostic TV, especially, and work with the authentic teachings of yoga. And so any classes that are labeled movement, please don't call them yoga because they're not yoga. They're taking elements of the yoga practice and elements of like physical therapy and dance and, and, and meshing it into one movement therapy class, but it's not specifically yoga. When we do film, we're looking at January filming the quarter primary series, which is a great starting place for people. Once that is up, that will be the yoga practice that's up on Gnostic TV. Also, uh, as uh, with exercise videos, I got some requests from people who are struggling with obesity, all that kind of stuff. And they, and they really want to start exercising, but they're a little bit intimidated by even some of the beginner videos that I have created. So never fear. I have heard your request and I am choreographing a super, super, super beginner friendly exercise video for people who are struggling with obesity. Um, again, I want you to really understand that being overweight is not 
I don't want you to beat yourself up about that. Yeah, we got to change it. As I've said before, while other people might use the word fat, I, I don't use that word. I, you're wounded. It's just a wound. That's all it is. And I have wounds. We all have wounds that act out in different ways. And so I am so proud of you for the people who've reached out to me to ask me if I would really choreograph something specifically for somebody who is very much overweight or morbidly overweight or, or obese. I, I think I, I just think it's so cool and so brave and so courageous that you're willing to take that step to try to correct that. And so I am actually in the, in the process of researching and creating a video specifically for you guys. It's going to be like super, super beginner. We're going to work with um, the weight, the extra weight that you're carrying right now with the exercise so that you're not overdoing it and you're not overstressing your joints so you can start that journey of getting rid of that extra weight and you can build up to doing the other videos and i again i'm just so proud of you guys for taking that leap and and wanting something like that to really cater towards your needs at this moment just because exercise is the foundation of spirituality does not mean that we're looking for you to be an olympic athlete that's not what it's about you're not you're not training for anything, right? You're using your body, using the friction of your body to examine the attachments you have to the mind, the negotiations of the mind. And you're clearing out the attachments you have to something that is mortal, something that is not not forever. And, and, and in, in, in traditional spirituality, the basis of spirituality is that anything that has a birth, a life, and a death isn't really real. It's the illusionary world. It's the simulated world. And so what happens is when we have attachments to that, we get disconnected from the divine. And so the first thing we got to start to do at the foundation of spirituality is get reconnected with the divine. And that doesn't happen in one class. It doesn't happen. It takes many, many, many years. I still struggle with my attachments to my own mortality, right? Like my teacher does too. It's, it's a constant journey of re-examining yourself and re-examining yourself and re-examining yourself. And exercise becomes pivotal because nothing is going to trigger you like exercise, nothing is going to bring you to that point of total focus on what you're doing when you are uncomfortable in your body, when you're breathing hard, when you're when you're feel the burning sensation of the muscles and the negotiations of the mind start, nothing is going to trigger that observation more than exercise. And so if you are exercising and you're feeling that frustration, you're feeling the anger come up, awesome. That means it's worked, right? That means it's potent. And so, yeah, as long as you start off now, don't, again, I say this over oh, all the time. I, I repeat this a lot because I really want people to hear this. Do not compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 10. Again, I've been doing this for 18 years. And because I've done this for 18 years, I've made all the mistakes. I've done it wrong. I've hit rock bottom. And so I have that experience and that wisdom and the education to try to help you help yourself. And so don't ever compare yourself to me or to anybody else that you're going to for help. The reason why they're able to help you is because they've been doing it for a long time. And common sense, because they've been doing it for a long time, they have developed a certain level of, of physical fitness that you might not have right now. And that's okay. That's okay. As long as you're feeling resistance, as long as you're feeling friction, as long as there's sweat and discomfort, you're right where you need to be. Yeah, you're not you're not auditioning for Cirque du Soleil. You're not auditioning for the United States gymnastics team, right? You're 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 just trying to work on yourself and that's it. And that, and I'm glad you get to do this in the comfort of your own home because nobody can see you. Now it is important to have a teacher and I hope that through these videos a lot of you guys will get, gain confidence to eventually go and find a teacher because a teacher can help you see where your blind spots are. Right. If I I'm not in the room with you, I'm doing it the best I can from a from a different location, but I can't see you. So therefore, I don't I can't tell you, hey, pay attention to this or hey, keep going or coach you through the really, really hard parts where you want to quit. Right. And be there to kind of mentally support you through that to keep on going. So as you start to get comfortable, I do suggest finding some sort of a teacher to monitor your practices we call them practices. I call them practices. This does come from traditional yoga. And I'm going to keep referring to any type of exercise, whether that be dance, kickboxing, running, whatever it is. I'm always going to call it a practice because it's not necessarily a workout. Yeah, like you're working out your sweat. You're working out your, your, your shit, basically. But it's a practice. You're practicing life. You're practicing the, the alchemical response to friction. Okay, you're not performing, it's never performing. And so so take that that weight off of your shoulders. Um, in, in India, we also call it your prescription. 
right? Like, you know, you take medication for an issue. Your issue as a human is that who you think you are spiritually is not actually who you are. And so this is the prescription that's going to help you realize who you are as a very still, quiet, souled being. So anyway, with that being said, since I have gotten people asking me for practices that are more geared towards um, obesity, if there is something else that you want me to focus on in an exercise video, let me know. Please let me know if, if you want more core strength, if you want more arm strength, if there is a certain um, form of movement therapy that you're fascinated by but don't quite understand and you want me to create a video around it, let me know, right? These are all going to be up on Gnostic TV. Again, if you put that that discount code in, Shala, check out before January 2nd, you're going to get all these videos nonstop. You can play them as many times as you want on Gnostic TV for a year for only $50. That is so cheap. That's way cheaper than a gym membership. That's way, way cheaper than a yoga shala. So, so it's a really, really, really good deal. And I will do everything I can to help you move through whatever it is that you are working to move through. All right, you guys, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll keep you posted on the community board as to what's going on with this schedule. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow on Solutions with Aquarius Rising Africa. And hopefully I will see you Thursday with Catherine Edwards on her channel for our coffee chat. If not, I will see you all next week. Happy New Year. I hope again you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye, everybody.